Hey there, Shibi Doodlers. Have you ever wondered what artists are doing when they stick a pencil up in the air and kind of waggle their thumb about and do all sorts of stuff with their drawing? Well, you need wonder no more, because we're going to go and find out. Now, I have a line on the floor, so I keep standing in the same place. And I've got a picture of myself on the wall. And so what I'm going to do is hold my pencil and I'm going to get from the top of my forehead to the bottom of my chin I'm going to measure that with my thumb and I'm going to draw that onto here now to get the proportions right I got to keep the camera in the same place and everything so that's about it there now I'm going to turn that sideways to get the width so this is a proportion of the height to the width so now I'm going to draw the, the width there like that. If you're sitting on your stool and drawing, you will always be in the same place, but I have to get the kind of camera and everything right. So now I've got this proportion to the eye, to the eye line. So that's the eye line. And now I'm going to come down to the nose. And now I'm going to come down to the mouth. I actually feel these proportions are completely wrong um, because I have been moving about the camera. I have a bridge of my nose and my eyebrows and then this is going to come kind of to about there and then I have quite distinctive kind of lines coming out there and then this will be... I know this chin should be much much longer in fact um, and we're going to want some hair kind of coming out like that and coming down here. Not a lot of ear. And of course, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these proportions are already distorted in the camera by the way I first photographed it. So it's, uh, it's all a little bit strange and we're going to want a little bit. Okay, well, let's imagine over here there is a picture of me. So it doesn't need to be a picture. It can be actually me <laughs> or or the person that you are wanting to draw. And let's get that pinned up on the wall like that. <laughs> this is the eyeball of the artist. Like that. There's a bit of a dodgy hairstyle. Now the artist can only see through their eyes and if you close one eye then you will get it accurate each time. So the artist closes the other eye and is looking through this eye. And that's, these are going to be the proportions. And this is where the mouth is going to go. And this is where the chin is going to go. Now, if you stick your pencil about there, then here you're going to put your thumb, and here you're going to hold the rest of the pencil in your fist, like that. So it's quite a long... <laughs> Long pencil, this one. If you measure off that amount of the pencil, that is going to be the height of the head when you put the pencil down on the paper and you measure it off like that. Then you can work out the proportions of the top of the head to the eye, to the nose, to the mouth, to the chin by marking off these lines here. So remember, you've got to keep one eye shut while you're doing this the whole time, because otherwise you're getting binocular vision and that gets really, really confusing. Keep one eye shut and keep your hand straight and out at arm's length the whole time, unless you're absolutely sure that you're holding it the same distance from your eye. And then look at the thing that you're looking at, but at, at arm's length, then you'll know it will always be pretty much the same distance and you're going to get the same proportions every time. If you put kind of the pencil here, you had a much longer pencil, then you could do a bigger picture, but the proportions would be identical to this one. The proportions here are identical to this, but you're going to be doing a much smaller drawing. And it depends how far the pencil is away, and it's got to be exactly the same distance each time. You could have it much closer here and have a much smaller drawing but the proportions will always be there. Now we don't just use the pencil and the thumb uh, for proportions, we can use it for angles too. So the pencil at the moment is vertical 
and as I move my thumb I can get different angles and oh, look there's an angle there so if I put my pencil to the vertical and I move my thumb to the angle so that I know I've got exactly the same angle then I can place this down on the paper and know that I'm drawing the right angle. I got a sort of vertical on there and and I know that this angle is going to be a bit like that and so I can kind of <laughs> this is very difficult to do this through the camera but you get the idea and now I can work out that that is the precise angle that I am viewing in front of me and I can work out all the other angles and if I'm drawing mountains or something like that then I can get all these precise angles and shapes of things that are going on in the horizon. So there you are, get going, start measuring proportions and start measuring those angles and uh, start getting your drawings a little bit more accurate. The more you do it, the better you get. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to do more drawing, then go and see my whole course uh, called Everyone Can Draw, Yes, Even You, or Have a Go at the Mystery Drawing. Uh, make sure you click that logo up at the top there and subscribe to this channel for lots more drawing videos. And uh, why not click and find out about me and all the books I write at shoerainer.com. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.